All right, what up guys, Plock the Master Gamer here. Today we're playing some Fable Anniversary, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys what I consider to be the best experience exploit in the entire game. This is an exploit you can use for strength experience, skill experience, magic experience, it doesn't matter. The only things you should need for this are the corresponding experience potions for whichever experience type you are trying to gain, whether it's strength, skill, or will. And then the other thing you're going to need is access to Bowerstone North, and of course, you're gonna have to make sure you're playing the anniversary version of the game, not the normal Lost Chapters version of the game, because this will only work in the anniversary version of the game. Now the first step, of course, is to obtain the experience potions. Now all three of the experience potions can actually be found in the abandoned road, uh, inside of barrels, so we're gonna be doing that right now. Don't actually know where they are. They could all be right here for all I know. Oh, one of them at least. I was pretty sure that was every barrel. So, you know, never, never listen to your guides online because they're not always the most truthful, it looks like. Must have been a typo, right? I thought it seemed a little suspicious that all three of them would be here, so yeah. I ignore that part that I said. They're definitely not all three of them here. I hope he doesn't Found in a barrel. Dude, there's so many barrels here. Come on, man. Like, I'm over here trying to make, like, a quick video, and it's like... God damn, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't fucking make a goddamn website good enough to tell me where the things are. Holy shit. There we go. Ages of Might. It's still trying to tell me it's found in Twin Blades camp in a... Oh, in a barrel! The first one told me it was in a chest. That's why. There we go! Okay, so at the very least, you can get all three potions very, very close to each other. They are definitely not all on the Abandoned Road, but you can get one in Abandoned Road, one in Twin Blades camp, and one in Twin Blades Elite camp. So that's... That's the way it actually is. Do not listen to what I first said. Anyways, the next step of the equation is to go to Bowerstone North. Now, there's two ways to do this, and the choice is yours. You can either glitch yourself into Bowerstone North, which you could do pretty much at any time in the game after the Wasp Menace, or I guess after you do Fisher Creek, if you do Fisher Creek before Wasp Menace. But all you need is a trophy, and you can sneak in here. I have a video on that if you don't know how to do that already. But uh, if you don't want to glitch in, you can just wait until after the arena. Either way, you need to go to this shop because he will sell you, or he will... He will buy from you and also sell back to you the uh, the skill potions and whatnot. So we're going to go over to potions here. And you will notice that all of the Ages potions are able to be sold. So we're going to have to do is we're going to have to sell all of these potions first. Because what we're going to need is for these to show up at the top of the list. And then of course what you're going to need is just anything that's going to give you like a lot of an item so you know you, you're going to want like you know something with like a few hundred like some apples or something here i have 371 apples you can go do whatever you need to get those but anyways you're going to click your green apples and you'll notice that this drop down list here comes up it says sell all 371 so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that open we're going to click here and that'll bring this here so if we click this that will sell 371 of those and we're just going to do that for literally all of these. Now, of course, the more green apples you have, or the more of whatever thing you have, the uh, the more of those you're going to get by doing this, for sure. And what we can do here, if we want, we can just buy a single one of each, right? And you can just repeat this process before you buy them all back. And that'll give you... An extra little stack of these then of course you're gonna make sure you buy them back because you know you're gonna need to do that right but also make sure you buy back your health potions and your will potions because you don't want to forget those but as you can see here we have 741 of each of the ages potions which should be good for a fair fair bit of experience and of course the final step here is to just assign them to your you know your hotkeys so that you can use them quickly and you should be good to go now, if you notice, I get a thousand experience for each one, and since I have 700, what, 60 of each one, I should, assumably at least, get 700,000 experience for each category. So we're just going to sit here, spam these buttons, and, uh, wow, that is a, that is a beautiful, beautiful sight. So we're just going to be spamming these buttons for a while. Anyways, that's 
I'm not gonna keep going with that. There's there's hundreds of these, obviously. You just keep going and going and going with that. But anyways, you can see here we got plenty of plenty of plenty of experience in each field. So let's go to the Heroes Guild and see what we got. And here we can see that in basically no time at all, I've gotten so much experience actually that I can just max out everything right now. I, mean, I already had physique and all that maxed out, but as you can see here, we got plenty of plenty of stuff going on here. We can just boop, 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 boop. And so yeah, that's that's pretty much the glitch. As you can see, it is oops, it is very useful. I mean, obviously, we're gonna need a little bit more for some of this in order to actually max it all out, but, uh, you know, the point the point stands that, you know, in pretty much no time at all, you can maximize You're literally everything. To use the lock expression. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what is a pretty cool exploit, actually. It was actually shown to me by a commenter, uh, so hopefully I can find that comment, and I'll show it up here, give him a little bit of a shout-out for giving me this awesome idea. I have heard this before, but he was the most recent person to give me this idea, and that's kind of what jump-started uh, this video. So anyways, thanks to you for giving me the idea for this video um, Definitely greatly appreciated because I honestly Never actually considered this before somebody did mention it before and I like honestly just forgot about it And somehow never actually like considered doing it for real And this is actually a super super effective method of maximizing literally everything in the game like it's super easy super fast super foolproof like it's Undoubtedly the best method for gaining experience at least in Fable Anniversary like it is unrivaled for sure Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope it helped some of you guys out. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content, for that matter. And of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you could become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. But yeah, with that being said, it has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Anniversary, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.